However, Miles is participating in a race this morning because he is a phenomenal motocross racer. When his bike's chain breaks, he loses a portion of the race, becoming enraged and frustrated as he watches the winner celebrate his victory. Miles and his father Chuck approach the winner Sam to request an additional chain because they are quite poor, despite Sam's efforts to provide them with the chain. Chuck is discouraged because his father is extremely impolite and refuses to give it to them, but a girl named Sarah steals the part and gives it to them. They rapidly fix the bicycle and plan for the following race everybody races with extraordinary expertise while Sam is in the number one spot with Miles not far behind it seems as though it will be a tie, however Miles figures out how to pull ahead and come out on top in the race, Sam praises him and welcomes him to a party. But Miles says no. Chuck tells him to go because it will help him meet people in the motocross community. Axel, one of the dogs in the research lab, has escaped. The scientist Andrik immediately dispatches a search team to locate the robot dog as it wanders the city. Later in the evening, Miles goes to Sam's party, but he doesn't seem to be having much fun. Miles decides to explore the house and admire Sam's collection of bikes. He meets Sarah and they have a good time chatting as he watches Sam and his friends use a blowtorch to burn a damaged car. At home again. Miles expresses to his father how unfair it is that he does not have the resources to be the best national racer. One morning, Sam welcomed Miles to a farm to work on riding. Miles, unaware of what had transpired, confidently took off for a ride while Miles was distracted by Sam's friends adding something to his fuel tank. He unfortunately got into a terrible accident when his motorcycle suddenly stopped working. Even worse, Sam and his friends caught the fall on camera and fled alone for Miles. Miles tried to start his motorcycle but it wouldn't start after adding fresh fuel and removing the contaminated liquid from his tank. He heard a noise coming from a nearby abandoned container as he tried to decide what to do. He discovered Axel, a robotic dog, which surprised him. Miles initially tried to leave out of fear, but Axel followed him in fear, and Miles drove until Axel was hurt. Miles returned to assist the injured dog out of guilt and discovered that it was about to commit suicide. After Axel connected to Miles' phone and he learned how to fix Axel, Miles stopped the countdown in a split second and saved Axel's life. The following day Sarah interjected and demanded to know where Sam was while he and his friends were making a mean video about Miles. Miles, on the other hand, continued to work on fixing the Axel until he was satisfied. When he did, he removed the robot dog's muzzle to discover that it contained weapons. However, a XL did not harm Miles, and they played together for a long time on the ranch. The scientists at Crane Systems were unable to locate them due to their unfortunate prolonged exposure to the elements. Okay, so Agent Berman is getting ready to destroy an XL system, but Android stops him and tells him that he wants to see how Axel interacts with a human, so he thinks Miles would be a good test subject. In the meantime, Sarah looks for Miles when she gets to the scene, but Axel sees her first and almost attacks Miles, tells the dog that Sarah is a friend and stops him. His eyes became blue as an Axel settled down. Later in the evening, Axel's future is up for debate between Miles and Sarah. Miles points out bullet holes in the fake animal's body, so it's clear that he hasn't been treated well, so Sarah thinks they should return him. Following their discussion, it is clear that the couple is in love as they dance. Berman suggests that they should reward Miles and Sarah and take Axel away because they are poor. However, Andrea claims that the dog is becoming extremely sophisticated due to human contact in this lab scene. As a result, they'll keep watching. The following morning Miles and Sarah cover Axel with a sheet and take him back with them. They refuel at a gas station, where an Axel hacks the machine and the ATM so they don't have to pay. Joanna, Sarah's mother, asks where her daughter is, Sarah is in an abandoned house where she does some graffiti. Axel watches her drawings and follows all of the designs she makes with various hand movements. The dog then shows them a crane-mounted presentation of himself. The couple learns that Axel was built as a weapon for killing other humans on the battlefield. When Miles touches the biometric device, it permanently binds the two of them together. Sarah confronts Sam when he arrives at the abandoned house where the couple is, and Miles unleashes his axle to support his partner. The canine is prepared to shield his proprietors, however Miles orders him not to assault and Sam leaves. Berman points out that Miles could have used axle to kill Sam and Andrick, 
but Andrik is pleased that the dog obeys all of Miles' commands perfectly. Joanna, Sarah's mother, works as a housekeeper for Sam's family, and the incident could cause problems for her family, which is why Sarah is mad at Miles. She thinks it would be wise to tell an older person about what happened. They decide to inform Miles' father after leaving Axel there. When the dog sees Sam, Sam and his friend return determined to attack Axel. It ceases from going after him since Miles had recently requested it not to Sam pours a lot of fuel on the ground and draws the canine over teaching his companions to reside stream what he is going to do energetically, Sam displays his flamethrower in the interim, the young men are at Hurl's home, admitting reality to him. Sarah consents to return Axel to the military out of nowhere Sarah watches the live video of Sam and acknowledges what's going on she and Miles rush out, however neglect to bring the biometric scanner. The two scientists who are observing the events can only scream at the screen in horror as Sam burns Axel at the abandoned house until his systems are destroyed and he shuts down. Axel is completely burned and damaged when the couple arrives, but they manage to wake him up and load him into a truck. A government official enters Chuck's house in the interim, demonstrates a gun to him and questions him about Miles. As the agent rummages through the garage, Chuck notices the biometric scanner Miles left on the table. However, Chuck confronts Android with a bow and tells him to drop his gun. As the situation spirals out of control, Android screams in rage. Sarah takes Axel to a 3D printing station, where they design and print the parts to repair his damaged body cables, and Vermin sends Captain Weber a secret email. The kids hug and have a good time while they wait for the reboot. Now that Axel is active, Rick locates him and sends additional agents to retrieve him. Axel sends a message that he has been fixed and that the reboot will take less than three hours. Miles and Sarah stow away from the specialists and when they are going to catch Pivot. He reboots and takes them out with the couple's help. Miles and Sarah follow Axel as he checks his memory and prepares to kill Sam. Sam and his friends are at a caravan festival with bonfires, partying, and Axel shows up, causing panic, but Sam is his only target. When Miles and Sarah get there, they find Sam fighting Axel. With a flamethrower, Sam tries to hit Axel, but it loses power. Miles steps in and stops Axel. Yet, an armada of robots assault. Android sees how the robots utilize electric shocks to stop pivot government specialists show up and gag Axel and they take him in the couple to the Crane Frameworks research facility. Andrik is requesting that Miles provide him with the biometric key, but Miles is attempting to explain that Axel is a living thing that requires care in order to survive. Andrea, on the other hand, believes that Axel is nothing more than a machine. When Miles refused to give Andrew the key, he locked Sarah in a laser cage, fearing that Axel would attack her if she tried to escape. However, Sarah used the laser to create graffiti art she had made in the abandoned house. She is a friend because the robot dog is aware of her movements. Axel attacks Berman and Android, causing them to flee, but the military soon capture them and arrest Rick, as Berman had apparently told them everything. Sarah makes the peaceful decision to leave, but Miles and the robot dog escape from the agents. The agents follow Miles and Axel across a field, where they both fall off a cliff, injuring Miles. The robot dog examines Miles' body and finds a broken arm. Axel tries to help, but Miles tells him to go. A group of drones attack it as it runs away. Before falling to pieces, Axel expresses farewell to Miles with a caring look. Miles takes the biometric scanner and activates it to his and his girlfriend's surprise while Captain Weber accuses Andrea of posting Axel's codes on the dark web. Meanwhile, Sarah and Miles decide to attend the same art school. In the final scene, Miles takes the biometric scanner and activates it to their surprise. They get notices from a XL on their telephones. They smile, suggesting that the dog's software form is still alive. Turn on notifications, please subscribe for more videos like this, and like the channel to support it. Thank you very much for watching.